Jumping is an incredible example of the human capabilities of movement. For example, when dunking or even just touching the rim, you have to be extremely coordinated to even touch the rim, but it also requires a great amount of force to even get up there. Becoming technically sound at jumping can add inches to your vertical almost right away. Now here's where jumping rope comes into play. If you're jumping constantly, it will allow you to become better coordinated, make you become a better jumper, and add inches to your vertical right away. This is why the regular bounce is so important. It just adds on to your technique. Not only to do tricks, but allow you to get a better technique when you're jumping, allowing you to jump high. Yes, jumping rope will increase a person's vertical jump. It conditions the foot and ankle complex through the repetitive jump, which results in improved ability to produce and absorb force, ultimately resulting in a higher max jump height and reduced risk of lower leg injuries. Now how you successfully accomplish this requires a bit of detail and an approach not commonly utilized with a jump rope. So let's take you through that. Stay tuned to the end because I'll provide you with the perfect jump rope routine to help you jump higher. Jumping rope strengthens your jumping muscles, which are the calves, quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes and abs and if you're curious about the other muscles jumping rope helps out check out the link i have below jumping high takes a combination of explosive strength power and coordination and it's a compound move the lower body muscles from a chain that starts with the glutes travels to the thighs and then travels down to the calves the latter of which provides power as the toes are pushing off the ground both jumping rope and vertical jumping activate the lower body in the same manner Manner. The difference is that jumping rope contains an endurance element while vertical jumping is a single explosive movement, meaning you're really not supposed to be jumping that high that often. Along with maintaining your stability when jumping, your core transfers the power from your lower body to the upper body. As you push off with your toes and propel into the air, the energy travels back up your legs through the core and into the upper body as your arms lift over your head to provide momentum. Engaging the core helps strengthen the core. Jumping rope requires upper and lower bodies to be active at the same time and the core provides stability freeing your arms and legs to the move in an agile manner. Jumping rope helps your body acclimate to vertical movements. Most exercises propel you forward with occasional backwards and side to side movements. Besides climbing stairs, jumping is the main movement that calls for you to work against gravity and travel vertically. Jumping rope along with other exercises that include jumping elements such as squat jumps and box jumps help you to strengthen your legs, core, and Upper body. You'll even find that some of your favorite basketball players jump rope. Four jump rope moves that will help you increase your vertical. First, we're going to start off with the regular bounce. The regular bounce is one of the most basic exercises. It is also what you need to practice even if you want to learn how to jump rope. If you are a beginner, you can start by jumping rope for 30 to 60 seconds and resting for 20 to 30 seconds between each set. As you get more advanced, increase the duration and the pace of jumping rope and reduce the rest time between sets. High knees activate your quadriceps, hamstrings, calves, glutes, and hip flexors, helping improve your muscle endurance, balance, and coordination in these muscles. When done at a high intensity and with bounding or explosive knee drives, they can also improve power in your lower body. High knees require assistance from your core or ab muscles. Not only does this make this move more effective, but activating the core muscles can help improve your vertical leap. Single leg jumping rope is amazing for explosiveness and coordination. Single leg jumping rope allows you to focus on the muscles in that one leg. You really develop that one leg while you're jumping. This move allows you to get a lot of power because you're developing the calf muscles. You also get much more coordinated because you're only balancing on one leg. And when you switch legs, you'll get even more coordinated because you have to match the time and precise. Be cautious with overuse of this workout because it puts a lot of stress on your joints because you're using only one leg to balance. So only one leg is taking the pressure while you're doing this move. Double unders can be your best friend in helping you improve your vertical leap. 
Do make sure that you have mastered the basic jump before you ever try this move. And you can check one of the links below to see just how you can do that. And if you haven't mastered the double under just yet, check out the video that I have below on it. I'm sure to help you out. Once you start practicing double unders consistently, you'll see great results. From quicker fat loss to better coordination, strength, and agility and explosiveness. You can make double under workouts more intense by performing multiple sets of them in varying intensity with minimal rest in between. With practice and increased reps, you'll be able to jump higher with time. How long should you jump to increase your vertical? For starters, jump and row for at least 10 minutes will significantly increase your vertical lead, increase the intensity and duration with time. Although you aren't jumping at your highest vertical height while jumping row, the constant vertical movement builds endurance for a better leap. Now besides jumping higher, you can also use it to get better endurance. Now you want to check out this video right here and it'll help you get more endurance. And as always, just start. We're about being perfect later. Peace.